Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. We're going to do something a little different today and take a look at a KL PGA player, Lee Say He. Uh, we would probably say Say He Lee. Very good, beautiful, near perfect looking golf swing. So something to study, something to enjoy. We're going to take a look first at setup. So <clears throat> with an eight iron here, uh, feet are probably about hip width apart. Left foot slightly flared, right foot's pretty square to the line. Then we're going to assume from here on that the camera is, you know, perpendicular to her line of flight, which no one can guarantee, but uh, we're going to assume that. So, ball position, pretty much off the right eye. Um, depending on player preference, what kind of shot they're trying to hit, etc., that would be about as far back as I would like to see. A person play the ball unless she's trying to flight a shot here which doesn't look like it when you watch the playthrough handle a little bit forward shoulders very slight tilt so we could assume her spine is pretty much vertical uh, and that's about all we need to study from that now I'm going to put a couple lines on the hips to mark where she is at address and we'll outline the head as well and we'll watch her go to work so Address is called P1, P2 when the shaft is first parallel to the ground, which would be about there. This is a beautiful job of rotating and tilting the, the triangle. Okay, Keeps the head very stable, uh, makes enables the body to turn around what some people call the spine angle or the forward bend angle from the other view. Uh, very lovely start. Pretty much turning with the chest and not much going on with the hips, which is fine. There's P3. Again, pretty standard, just a little bit less radial deviation than some people may choose to believe is necessary. Head still stable. Hips still stable. P4. And I see a tremendous amount of flexibility in not only height of the arms but also the left arm moving towards the chest um, nice amount of rotation in the upper body can't really tell from this view how much hip turn she has but I'd say it's pretty standard so that's going to set the club not quite parallel to the ground which is fine and a good distance past her body on this side the transition is going to obviously happen in the blink of an eye or faster but we're gonna see pretty much right before she goes the pelvis is gonna start moving towards the target and you'll see there's impact still have forward shaft lean now if we outline in red we can see a little bit more clearly what the pelvis did we can see the head didn't move forward so that creates a little bit of side bend obviously helps get the the strike location a little bit more forward so there's impact follow through and now the head's going to push a little forward and the spine's going to extend the body's going to continue to rotate to a beautiful beautiful finish so that's um just some basic things you could look at in your own swing do a little little comparison how do I stack up, especially if, now this is not to say that uh, a man shouldn't be trying to copy the swing either. This is just a very textbook, wonderful looking swing. So anybody could use this. All right, so there's some quick pointers again you can look at. Uh, comment below if you would like to see more of her or different female golfers that we could take a look at. Thanks for watching.